everybody, hey, welcome to Basics of Magic and basicsofmagic.com. This is the very first show, very excited to say that it is a pilot show, the show that is the flagship show of Basics of Magic, myself, Will Roberts, and of course my partner in crime, Adam Wiley. Adam, what's up? Hi, everybody. I'm so excited to be here. I'm doing so great. What's up with you, Will? You know, uh, what's up with me is pretty much what's up with you and our guest. By the way, we haven't gotten our curtains installed yet, so he's technically backstage, <laughs> on stage, whether you like it or not. Um, I, all I can say is, is that um, I'm like everybody else, which is this used to be just a radio setup. Now I believe it's my bunker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That's exactly how I feel about my place, too. Everything's a bunker everywhere you go. Absolutely. So um, we're going to go right into the show and uh, talk about some wonderful things. But, of course, we want you to know that what we're talking about is the basics of magic, okay? I want to give you a little background on this. And what this means is, is that a lot of times people will say, hey, but I'd like to do magic, but i got to go you know, buy a bunch of things and do a bunch of things to be able to be a magician. And mm-hmm. what we're trying to instill <laughs> is that we want you to know that you basically could use a deck of cards and a ball or napkins wadded up anything basics of magic we can you know kind of show you and that's what the site will show you however the other element of it is if you look at the spotlight magic we're going to be spotlighting places well i kind of like to say brick and mortar or the traditional magic shop because mm-hmm. there's nothing more exciting i'm excited more, is that a dog do we have my dog do we have a mascot already? All right. You should have just said you were a ventriloquist as well. I, yeah, I, uh, really works in your favor, Jeff. I was going to say that's my wife, but that probably wouldn't have worked. Oh, no, no, no. So um, anyway, uh, one of the features that we have on the show, we will have many of them, is we're going yeah. to be spotlighting perhaps a, a, a magic shop. Uh, uh, Adam, talk a little bit about our concept of all this stuff on your end. We are teaching you guys the basics of magic. We're starting building blocks. And what building blocks will allow you to do is grow from there and grow from the future, but allowing you to do super powerful magic right away. Now, some of those things uh, require you to buy something a little bit extra that's not just a deck of cards or a coin or a ring or paper clips or any of the rubber bands, multitude of things that we've shown you. So some of the really amazing basic tricks Uh, you can implement from your local magic shop. So we Mm want to make sure that you know where to get these things, where to get them at a great cost, someone that will show you exactly what to do, maybe even demo it while you're there. So these are great little tools and building blocks to uh, further your magic as well as learning the basics of magic from the site and and learning all these building blocks, but implementing all of these things to, to bring it to an even better level. Yeah, and, and you know, one other thing I will say is is that we will try to have magicians on talking about magic, but we don't want to, at this point, want to get too complicated about different things and moves and yeah. counts and so on, because <clears throat> I have to tell you that I worked at a magic shop for almost 10 years in Monterey, California, called Zucchini's Tricks and Things. Many magicians have, and there is nothing, and our guest right there, I'm about to introduce him, there is nothing like walking into a magic shop. I kind of believe, by the way, Joe, for misdirections in san francisco and the magic shop there welcome to the show thank you so much really honored to be again kicking off the first show this is awesome yeah very excited well i want to say joe that you know i almost believe that uh magic shop owners should also have a degree in psychology and babies and babysitting (laughs) yes 100 percent yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about, um, I'll do a question, then Adam will do a question. Let's talk a little bit about um, kid comes in, or an adult, comes in and says, I would love to start into magic like I'm sure both of us, or all of us did. Uh, what are What are some of the first things you hear and the things that you kind of have to overcome when a person comes in? Well, the very first thing is, your love. You you came in. You want to see magic. the 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 next thing is my very first question is: Do you want to practice? Uh, that's mm. that's the, that's the main thing. If you don't want to practice, this is not wow. what you want to do. That's great. Uh, it's something that, you know. Honestly, you have to practice. You have to love to practice. As you guys know, uh, magic is about oh, yeah. practicing. Uh, you can and you can do it. <clears throat> Anybody can do it. You can be a young kid. You could be a, a dad. You could be a mom. You could be a girl. Uh, anybody. 
It's just that you do have to practice and have that want, you know, desire. You know, if you want to, you know, it's just like uh, when a piano player or a musician comes in, a uh, martial artist or a guy who does sports, they know how to practice, you know, and they understand that. So in magic, very first question that goes, do you guys want to practice? If not, let's get a joke. Let's get something else. <laughs> uh, if you want to really do it, you got to practice. That's my very first um, scenario, you know, when you come into the shop. And some people don't like that. But it's true. We, we have to say, like, okay, it's not like rocket science, but you do right. have to sit there and yeah. practice a little bit. Uh, and, and it's mostly not just the secret, it's the presentation. Yes, and that's actually a really good point. Is I want to add to your point that a lot of people, uh, they don't want to practice the moves. And they're like, well, I want something that's going to do all the work for me, right. which is well and fine, but that doesn't mean you don't have to practice how you're going to present it. Right. Yes. Because what's the difference between you then presenting this trick and then just watching, you know, someone, else do. someone else do it? Yeah, yeah. and you know, uh, that brings up another good point is, is that uh, I, I will ask you statistically, because you have been doing this for a long time, um, I think right after the wheel was invented came Misdirections <laughs> Magic. Uh, <laughs> There, there you go. You, I have, I have pictures of you with you. Yes, he did. Yeah. He sure did. Um, but I will say that um, what percentage of people come in and go, I'd like what we call a push button magic shot uh, trick. There is, and, and I, I do have things for that you, you know, if you're willing to. But still, I still have to say you got to practice a little sure. bit, uh, and it depends on your age and who you're performing for, and you know, because I have things for everybody. Uh, you know, you could be an adult, you could be a little kid. You could be grandma, Uncle Bob, um, you know, everybody is, is available and uh, you just come on in and, 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 and I'm ready for you. Um, I have it for everybody. But you do practice. Yeah. That's, that's my, big, my biggest key. Uh, and we do have like tricks, card tricks, coin tricks, you name it. But the first thing is to practice. Absolutely. Well, speaking of all those card tricks and coin tricks, what if, what if I were to come in and and I was uh, someone w with very little experience. And we'll do the scenario if I was uh, a kid and an adult, whether regardless of gender or or um, or you know ability or scenario. Let's just say that I have I, I've never done magic before. I come up to Joe and I say, "Hey, I've never done magic before as a kid or, or and an adult. I want something that's going to wow people. So but I, I have no skills. What do I do?" Well. First is it depends on um, kind of your budget, right? It's like, you know, you want a simple trick. Uh, we can do like uh, a ball bait for a real small kid, uh, usually. And I'll, I'll, in fact, I'll show you that. You got to have a ball bait. bait. Right, right here. Yeah. Uh, classic effect, simple, easy. If we want to go into uh, cards, you say, hey, I want to do cards. Um, card tricks are for 10 and up usually. Um, because the hands are too small, yeah. and I usually recommend card tricks after 10, okay? And uh, we could do that. Um, you want to, then I would also recommend, like, a book. Um, I even got it right here. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, both of those. Both <laughs> are three good books on learning how to do things with normal objects. Uh, and that brings you know, back some nostalgia. The, yeah, the Encyclopedia of Magic by Mark Wilson was my yep. first magic yeah, book. So. Yeah. Deep, yeah. Something, you know, this is no normal object. And then if you wanted to get a trick, uh, you know, like a coloring book for, oh, yeah. you know, this is a classic effect. Yes, it is. Great effect. Uh, you know, really wows people oh, too. You know, the oldest awesome. trick. Um, all kinds of stuff. It just depends. And I look at you and I'll, I'll judge by the way you're. Um, because I've been doing it so long. A lot of people don't like that, yeah. but I go, how do you know? And I, but I do know because I've been doing it for so long. I can kind of tell, you know, like, are you willing to practice and what age, you know, and, and, and then we go from there. Absolutely. Sure. Hey, uh, let's give some of the information out. Misdirections Magic, of course, Joe here and misdirections.com. That's with an S, misdirections.com. Check it out. You can see stuff. Ah. You can buy stuff. I don't think you can talk to the dog, though, um, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, sad. That, uh, was my first, that was my question. I know. On Instagram, and I'm waiting to see him do the cut in half dog. Um, anyway, but on misdirections, of course, on Instagram is misdirections.com. 
S, magic. That's misdirections magic, which, by the way, is an awesome place to go because Joe is always, I feel like you're not here. I'm talking about you. But I love to watch your Instagram because you're always doing something and demoing a trick. And you have quite a personality, my friend, and you know that. Um, so, And you must be really happy right now with this whole corona thing going on in the sense that I, I really have not taken this off in about two weeks. And, and yeah, okay. you're just totally ready for it. And I'm really mad at people who don't have their hair uh because i'm tired of messing with mine and my I hear earphones you. haircuts are like they're they should be uh, an essential business i I'm, gotta tell you i'm Keep looking on. for a flow bee if anybody has a flow bee I, I i need a flow bee uh joe let, let's talk a little bit about um books and information uh do, do you get people that come in and go, I just purely want a book, and then do you have – I know you do, and I'm sort of setting you up. Your shop is amazing, and obviously maybe at some point we can get a little view, or on our page we will be promoting all of that you do. We'll be showing some of this along with the fact that you're having an amazing sale right now. We can call it a bunker uh, sale. It's Ooh. basically – yeah, it's an inventory in stock sale, and I have – thousands of objects yes, you know items you. that are in the shop um not even on my website because i i, I am a real brick and mortar you i'm are. a one-man show mm -hmm. uh, there's no one else but me um wow. yeah i'm the one when you come into the shop here you see me i know i'm wow. the guy cleaning up i'm the guy demoing i'm the guy ringing you up <laughs> um the guy who's giving you advice and i've been doing this for 24 years and um, right now um, it's a hard one because, you know, we're down on a lockdown yeah. and yeah. there's no money, uh, nothing. So what I've done is, um, you know, given a 25% off everything that's awesome. in stock. Awesome. Wow. Uh, so Maybe. anything you need, and I've got everything from the pro to the amateur, close up, stage, yeah. card tricks, coin tricks, mind reading, mentalism. All the top guys come to see me. Yes. Um, all the beginners come to see me. So you name it, I got it. And if it's in stock. It's 25%. We're having a big, big blowout because of this um, lockdown. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully we'll get past this. And I think we, we will. will. We will. Because um, it's, it's such a um, hard thing for everybody, I think. It really is a hard thing. Great. But uh, the one thing I want to say is, is that, again, this is going back to the brick and mortar and the magic shop. I have such fond memories of the first one I went to. So I want to Ooh. ask you both, what was the first magic shop that you walked into? Man. Oh, I'll give you. I, I can wow. tell you mine. Let me tell you mine. PJ's Tricks and Things in Chicago. Wow. I was born oh, in yeah. Chicago, south side of Chicago, and I remember going into the mall, and I'm so, like, getting chills <laughs> right now, and the smell, and oh, it's taking me over. Um, and um, I just remember walking in there and seeing a change bag and thinking this looked like it must have been 100 years old. wasn't. But and then getting in there and all the other little items, but PJ's tricks and things. And then I, of course, went on to my teenage years and going into zucchini's tricks and things. And there's nothing like being able to sit at the counter and demo stuff for people that come in. Totally. They are there. This is a biggie. They are there to one uh, see magic. And in your case, Joe, I drove around for almost an hour and a half to park in San Francisco in your area because I just wanted to see Joe. Thank you so much. Yeah, San Francisco is tough, but uh, there is parking. Yes, there is. Especially is. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right now, there's a lot of parking. I'm yes. sure. You can park a semi anywhere. anywhere. I think, I think the, the, the biggest thing that I have is my knowledge uh, because I actually demo everything. Yes. And That's you awesome. name it. I do it, yeah. uh, and I know all the books. I know all the videos. I know all the tricks. I watch everything, and I'm, my specialty is actually um, doing the stuff that's real practical for real magicians, not just selling you a trick. When yeah. you come in and you know me, and I know you, and I say, "Hey, what do you think? Of this? this is the newest advertised trick." I go, "Forget it. Don't buy it." I actually will tell you. I heard you, you say that. Yes, yeah. I heard you say that to a kid that was yeah. that had done stuff, but you went, "Well, you know." You probably get better bang for your buck doing this, and it was a lower price item. So I agree with that. But what is? Tell me, what magic shop do you remember? Oh, for me, yeah, um, I probably went to um, Hollywood Magic. Yeah, when I was uh, when I went down there for a vacation, um, that was probably my biggest thing because I was excited. Uh, over here, we also have House of Magic. Yes, in, in, 
uh, and also um, I think it was um, from Geary. Was it it like was on Ge Chestnut. Chestnut. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Wasn't yeah. a nice man <laughs> to yeah. me, but uh, I went there and then I went to Hollywood Magic also. Okay. So it was a great. You know, yeah. I loved it so much that um, here I am. <laughs> here you are. You own a magic shop. Hey, Adam, where? Tell me. Mine was also Hollywood Magic. Mm -hmm. So uh, I saw my first ever trick uh, when I was doing theater at five years old. There was mm -hmm. a kid that came up to me and said, look, um, you know, one of the dads is a puzzle and you're not going to figure it out. It turns out he was a professional magician and um, made a, you know, the classic making a handkerchief disappear yeah. and uh, blew my mind. And I had him do it a million times, never figured it out, of course. Right. Uh, then he showed it to me, you know, gave me the gimmick, which was hilariously uh not my size and <laughs> know the gimmick you kind of know That's, exactly what i'm yes, talking about do, the yeah, junior yeah, versions yeah. As and well. the color but this was not this was not a junior <laughs> version and um then i went down to hollywood magic and i i bought a lot of those older magic tricks that that came out in the 90s where they were all self-working mini oh, versions yeah. of stage effects. Yeah. Oh, you know, like that's you funny. Pyramid yeah. and you put a penny in yeah, and then yeah, yeah. you cover it and then all of a sudden the penny's gone and it's sure. inside a box inside the pyramid, right. you know. Oh, I um, love that, yeah. And it was just, it was, it was, it was such a highlight. I oh, loved it. Joe Hollywood disappeared. Magic, which unfortunately Joe... does no longer no. exist. No, Joe um, disappeared. I just oh, got look. it right there. Oh my gosh, that's it. <laughs> you talked that's about it. it. <laughs> Right here. You understand? Right. It has been a billion years. I feel since I have seen that. I I think I'm going to uh, talk to you after this because I kind of I kind of want to. So you know what? Let's end with what we're talking about, Joe, and specifically with what was just brought up, which is a trick that Adam you did in the beginning of your career. Yeah. And um and I can tell you that one of the first tricks I remember is two card Monty. And I got to tell you, so here's my question to you, or just back me up on this, is that if you're starting off in magic or you've been doing it for 100 years, you really, the, the trick can be so elementary and so simple, and people go, oh, you must be doing things with meta people floating in the air. And I'm like, no, actually, I like these go-to tricks because mm. they are the basics of magic and it's really what you put behind it and i'll say this to you and adam knows this but the presentation and your patter so is that right 100 percent. it's all it doesn't matter i can take the littlest trick and make it grand it's how you perform it's all it is and it's just like an actor like you guys are actors yeah. uh you know it's how you perform that mm -hmm. you know and robert hudan said it best uh, we are um, actors playing the part of magicians. Yeah, yeah. Which is, by it's the way, true. what a magician, um, real quickly, it, when I started in magic, uh, it's, whatever age it was, I remember Roy Slater, really well magician, no, magi biker guy, and he said, uh, the more, the better actor you are, the better magician you are. Well, I obviously went into the acting part full time, but in reality, he's right, and we all are right in the sense that I can give you four guys the same trick, and they can be at multiple levels, even beginning, but if the person's up there with the energy and doing what they do, they can wow and fool them uh, better than the other people. Adam? I 100% agree with that. Uh, abs absolutely. I've, I've always said that... Uh, Actors make the best magicians or performers in general make the best magicians, but uh, magicians don't make the best actors. And it's very interesting how it, it doesn't go both ways, yeah. which is which is so strange because you would think that it would translate both ways. Now, another thing that I wanted to ask you, Joe, and, and actually you will, um, there are some tricks that I have done since I was a beginner that I still have in my repertoire today because they're just that good not a lot of people think well you know that was so basic yeah. yes but some of these things you perform them right and you can do them no matter how big you get mm -hmm. you know or 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 what have you one of those things for me one of my favorites is the invisible deck yes yeah. that i think is, is a trick that yeah. can wow anybody at any time it doesn't matter your skill level yeah. implement it at any time uh, you can bust it out at any time, and it's it will always be phenomenal. I want to know for both uh, you, Joe, and you, Will, what is that one trick for you that is that is your – I've been doing this since forever. 
but it still wows people even with all the magic I know. Joe? Joe well, you know what? Let, let me go get it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm so yeah, excited. I am excited. I love the fact I that, love watching magic. You know what? He has the best background ever. I know. That background is amazing. Man, I'm going to take a screenshot of that and put yeah, that in the back of us. <laughs> I love that. Um, so while you're all waiting, of course, basicsofmagic.com. You can check us out. On Instagram, it is basicsofmagic. You can go mm -hmm. there. Uh, go to the site. We have got lots of stuff coming. We want to let you know the difference between what we're trying to do than what other folks may be doing, which is all great, is that we really are looking at trying to get everybody and anybody from mom, dad, kids, even the dog, if they had thumbs, to be able to do oh. a trick. So, so oh, that Oh yeah, okay. I, I'm gonna do the trick that is uh, really, really. I don't know. Awesome. Can you guys see this? Yeah. Yeah. Look, right. Yeah. And I, I'm just yeah. gonna do this. The the go to that yeah. a lot of people actually watch really slow now. Yeah. And it. Oh, awesome. I that's the that. first and one that, I ever saw. Yeah. That's what got me into trick. it right there. Right yeah. there. That's I. I, I remember getting that and then two things about that. Number one is I remember getting that and then several years later they came out with a book with 101 things you can do with that. And I'm like, oh my God, it's Christmas. It's the best trick. Christmas. And then the other thing that was when Barney came out with yep. the really light ones, I'm like, I'm not even that white. How did this come up there anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> Joe from Mr. Exxon's Magic, please uh, come on again and let's talk about the fact that 25% off of anything it, that he has in stock, check out Mr. Exxon's. Misdirections, that's with an S, misdirections.com, or you can go on to Instagram and check out what he does, and he links you through there as well, which is Misdirections Magic. And Joe, thanks for coming on. Be safe, be well, and waiting for your glove and mask trick that you're going to come up with. <laughs> be yeah, safe. Joe, thank you. Everybody, stay healthy. All right, brother. Talk yes. to you soon. Hey, so uh, awesome, huh? Wasn't that awesome? That was amazing. I, I, I love being able to give right now the brick and mortar magic shops uh, yeah. a platform to be to be able to stay in business because that's how I learned that's yeah. how you learned yeah. this is how we honed our skill so being able to promote those things and not just everything is so digital but there's something yeah. about the physicalness yeah. of buying things and going into a magic shop yes. and being surrounded by that energy that really <clears throat> inspires you to be more creative sure. uh, in, in this whole magic world because you can learn from anybody right you can learn from uh, the, your basic 11 year old on on youtube yeah teaching you how to how to make a card go into the middle of the deck sure. and then come back to the top but what better way than to be surrounded by professionals who have been doing this for so many years yeah. and know the exact moments how to wait how to pause yeah. how to sell it you know, there's nothing like that in the world. No, and you know what? The, well, how else I'll equate this uh, is that it's like the library. Although we know we can read everything on our phones, when you pick up and you go to the library and you look up magic books and you sit there mm. with them and then you bring them home and you look at them, there's just nothing better than having that sort of physical item the same as you said about going to a magic shop. The other part about it is, is that, and this is really... I would say almost more true than doing the magic is the camaraderie, the, the community mm -hmm. that's created. And I'm actually, again, very excited about the fact that Adam and I are doing this show because isn't this a ball just talking about magic? It is. Like, I remember when I first met you and it, this is like we that. We were doing you a gig. Position, you, you, yeah, we were doing a gig yeah. together in Beverly Hills yeah. and it's, it was awesome because we just sat there going, oh, well, do you know this? Yeah, and right. you, oh, show me your version. Of, oh, yeah. I do a version of that, but I yeah. learned it like this. And, yeah. and there's, it really is a community. Right. The, the community of magicians alike, big, small, whatever, <clears throat> gender, race, color, it does no not matter. matter. Yeah. It's all the same language. It Absolutely. really is. It's all the visual language of, ma of the art of magic. Right, right. And it's great to just be able to pal around and, and really talking to a magician one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. being able to like mess around right. with, with things and doing what we call magic jam sessions. Yeah. I <laughs> That's where the best ideas come from. Yeah. Hey, I have to tell you that I thought about this in the middle of the night, of course, and I think I was texting you, but I think I'd like to talk to you about creating a magic session 
that we are able to do what we're doing here on a Zoom, of course, and people can come in and perhaps there's a small little entry fee. Or if you're a member of the uh, the channel that we have, which is the night, it used to be 179, but we've got a mm -hmm. covert 19 uh, uh, sale, which is all of the videos. So if you go to the videos on basicsofmagic.com, you're going to see probably 20, 25. But what I will tell you is, is that we will have hundreds of tricks and different things we're going to do with stuff that you could virtually do at your own home. And matter of fact, that's kind of the goal. But on top of that, I really was thinking it would be great if you're a member and click that, that you also, we might do a weekly session, don't know, about, hey, hey, everybody, we're going to do a, um, I don't know, we're going to do a, a Hindu shuffle we're going to do a cut or a prediction with three books and an envelope. And we, you and I will talk through it and people can ask us questions because that is probably one of the most fun things to do in magic is, like we said, is to talk about what we can do with it and maybe the pattern or maybe an angle you have and help people work it out because then they can go and do it for other people and have more confidence. Absolutely. I think that's great for individual in individual tricks as well as building routine. Uh, I think that it's really difficult to figure out your transitions and how you're going to get from one thing to another. And bouncing ideas off of, off of uh, other magicians is really key. So I really like this idea of people coming yeah. in and out and just sessioning for uh, – you know, an, an hour and a half yeah. or, or whatever it yeah. is, every any, any designated time, and you can come in and out as you please. Yeah. That and would we'll be great. record it. Yeah, and I think we'll try to record it, and then that way what happens is is that they can go back and take a look at it because one of the biggest problems with magic it, in general, I think, because I would love to say I have an amazing education, but I don't, is, is that magic, it, when you read a magic book sometimes, it's like reading mm -hmm. Greek or physics. Oh, and, 100%. Yeah, and, but when this is one of the things that's awesome about, uh, about YouTube is that if you can find the effect, most of the time it's from the 80s back, uh, yeah. some of the good stuff you can see it and go oh I can't I get it this is the 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 steps to do the trick so we're going to try to give you all that different stuff. In addition, I want to tell you right now that we have a contest going on. You'll be able to see Ooh. it in this article. And it is a, uh, an, a big contest where you just simply have to give us your email address. And we're going to pull from the hat. Love that part. And it's, yeah, it's a great. Houdini book from 1920s. That is, I, I, we have a collection that we have. That of, cover is amazing. Yeah, isn't it amazing? Yeah. It. yeah. And you can see it right now on the screen. Check it out. Um, we're going to basically be giving that book away. I have have a, uh, a big catalog of all these old uh, magic books that Adam and I have put together and mm -hmm. they are truly from the, some of them from the 1800s and just fun to have it's obviously not the original and you're not going to physically get it you're going to get the PDF but they're glorious I'm sorry they're just amazing so and I, I, I gotta say like a lot of the older books are so underrated there yeah. are some gems that nobody does anymore I know. in some of these books that are mind blowing. Uh, a really good example is uh, a friend of mine. I won't say say the name, but went on fool us uh -huh. and fooled them just because he read and implemented a um, a a principle from the seventies in just an old book that was just lying around. Wow! Yeah. yeah. You never know, you know. Never uh, know. Magicians spend most of their time seeing what n uh, the next trick they can buy, uh, but sometimes, like I, I, I told you that story about the person that had her husband passed away, and I got four or five boxes of magic stuff, and it's yeah. like I don't technically need to go to a magic shop again for the rest of my life, but totally. If I see one, but I'm it's going fun. anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, of course, my name is Will Roberts, and this is my co-host or my host, coasting ho. <laughs> yeah, sorry, uh, Adam. And um, either way, I'm Adam Wiley. You are Adam Wiley. Adam, give your website address out just for the heck of it as our own things. How do you well, get to you? You guys can also contact uh, either me or Will through basicsofmagic.com. You can find me uh, on Instagram under this is Adam Wiley, as well as TikTok, TikTok. doing some really fun magic st stuff yes. and. 
and really fun things. Absolutely. All right. Hey, uh, check out my site of actorwillroberts.com or the Honest Huckster, honesthuckster.com. Check it out. And we will be back next week with another show. And I'm not going to say who's going to be on it, but I guarantee you, you'll want to be here. Uh, be here, be square, or I don't know what to tell you. See you next week. <laughs> thanks, Adam. I'll see you again. All right. See you soon, Will. All right. Thanks, folks. Be well, be safe, and cover up. <laughs>